Hey, what's going on everyone? Can you imagine all of the crazy weaponry and technology that the governments have and probably don't disclose to the public? Oh, the conspiracies are ripe. The conspiracies are deep. The deep state. Uh, like, remember, what was it last year? The fires in Hawaii. So many conspiracies about that and people identifying things and... Uh, doing their internet sleuthing and coming up with different theories and conspiracies. I don't really know the the nitty gritty and what exactly happened. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely insane though. The technology and the monetary uh, resources our governments have. Uh, this video is about Britain's 140 million pound Dragonfire, Dragonfire laser gun that blasts a drone out of the sky in incredible declassified footage. All right, let's check this out. Um, a picture is worth a thousand birds, so we got to watch the video and uh, let's see. Let's see what we're going to get here. That looks just like the video that conspiracy theorists had. The British Ministry of Defence has released the first footage of its new Dragonfire laser gun shooting down a drone in the skies What in the Death Star? The Dragonfire is a prototype laser that's cost more than £140 million to develop. It claims to be able to shoot down an object the size of a pound coin from more than a mile away. Now, it's been in development for many, many... It claims to be able to shoot down an object the size of a coin from a mile away. Talk about accuracy. In years, it's been running later than planned. We've seen three releases of information on this significantly. The first was the first ever photographs of the drone shooting down a tethered target. More recently, we saw still photographs of the same laser shooting down a drone that was flying. And now the Ministry of Defense has released the footage. Now, the, the footage is Let's not see particularly uh, different to those still images. What we see right there, you have the the Empire logo. See, uh, is a laser beam shooting up into the sky at around a 45 degree angle. One of the complexities that the people who've been developing this we weapon have had to overcome is how to produce such a powerful laser without actually destroying the device and the mirrors within the device <laughs> that aim it onto its target. And one of the other problems, of course, is where does that laser beam end? If you're shooting it at the sky, what is behind your target? Is it going to hit something in space? Now, these are right because if you're shooting a laser at something how does the laser have an end point like is the laser just going to go through the ground all the way down and and to to china or the other side of the planet the earth's flat though potentially the future JK. weapons of war they do not require ammunition so potentially it's a gun that never runs out of ammo the Prediction at the moment is these sorts of devices will initially be based. Never runs out of ammo. That's a different plate of fish right there. On large warships because those warships can generate the power, the electricity that the lasers need. But actually, uh, what we learned, the Ministry of Defense claimed that it costs just about 10 pounds a pop to fire this. So if and when these weapons are produced on a larger scale, they may actually produce huge savings for the armed forces, particularly given them, giving them the capability to shoot down uh, threats from swarms of drones, which is something, as we've seen in the Ukraine war. And it sounds like a science fiction and of film. Course we've seen in swarms of drones, giant frickin' lasers. I want sharks with frickin' lasers on their heads. Dr. Evil. This would be the, the dog that broke the camel's back, I tell you that. In the Red Sea with the Houthi, uh, Iran-backed Houthi rebels based in Yemen attacking shipping in the Red Sea. So uh, another landmark, or at least an, a release of information from another landmark in the development of this British laser gun. A landmark development in the development of the British laser gun. Right.
Are those blocks of wood? Target those ships with the lasers. And the funny thing is, like, this is probably just a snippet. This is a dot in the ocean for the type of technology that, you know, they released to the public. What else do they have out there? Right? Freaking chemtrails flying around. Uh, chemtrails is just like a famous conspiracy theory. Um, but yeah, the Dragonfire laser gun. Freaking lasers, man. That's actually really cool. I wonder if Canada has any lasers. We have uh, syrup lasers. We shoot high-powered streams of hot Canadian maple syrup at our enemy's eyes. Drown them in bacon! Distract them with syrup. We got a drone. What's going on with the... Man. Frickin' lasers. Let me know what you think about this. The viability. Like, hopefully we can start seeing more and more, like, cool technology sprouting up. Hopefully more things to do with space. You know, Tom Cruise, I hear he's space, shooting a space movie. I want frickin' spaceships with lasers but you know we probably won't see that this technology even so it's like a it's a it's a freaking prototype right however the government says it's a prototype probably because there's like images of lasers shooting in the skies around the world that you can find and you know as different governments start developing different technologies and using them in clandestine operations they just want this out there so they can, uh, you know, claim plausible deniability. The whole five yards. Anyways, let me know what you think. Freaking cool, man. And, yeah. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to have lots of different stuff coming. I know I've been doing sports primarily, but it's interesting having a wide range of topics to be able to talk about. Like, if I'm not going to be talking about uh, music... Or specifically getting into soccer football. Soccer football. Yeah. All right. Peace out, peeps. Later.